A few days ago, I hosted a big geography quiz to more than 400 participants. The quiz has 50 questions, both pinpointing ones and regular trivia ones. So feel free to pause the video to try to figure the answers for yourself. Make sure to press that like button if you enjoy this video. And here we go. The first question is the pinpointing one. Uh, you need to find where this place is in the world. I think this shouldn't be too difficult. Starting off easy. A very famous place. It was, of course, Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is an ivory white marble mausoleum in the Indian city of Agra. It was commissioned in 1632 by the Emperor Shah Jahan to house the tomb of his favorite wife and later of himself. Which African nation has the most pyramids? Is it Sudan, Egypt, Nigeria, or Libya? Answers are coming in. Oh, people are very split on this one. The right answer is Sudan. Sudan has between 200 to 255 pyramids, while Egypt only has 138. But of course, Egypt is more known for its pyramids. Find the spot. Find the spot. Another famous place. L less famous than the previous one, but I feel many of you will recognize this lovely place as well. It was the Atomium. Atomium in Belgium. Lovely Belgium. The Atomium is a landmark building in Brussels, Belgium, originally constructed for the 1958 Brussels World's Fair. Nowadays, it is the most popular tourist attraction in Brussels and serves as a museum and art center and a cultural place. What is the lowest capital of the world? So lowest uh, in terms of sea level. Oh, people are very split on this one. Most people did choose Amsterdam. However, the correct answer is indeed Baku which is very, very interesting. Baku is located 28 meters below sea level. Amsterdam is below 2 meters. And Vayaku and Malay are both 0 meters. Find this spot. This is a really interesting one. I thought this is, was a very lovely place. Yeah, can you find where it is located? Well done, well done. A couple of 5Ks, a couple of perfect scores. It was Hobart, indeed. Heading South is a series of sculptures by Stephen Walker which can be found along Franklin Wharf. These waterfront artworks memorialize Hobart's role as the launching point of several 19th century Antarctic expeditions. The trivia is, where are the steps in the image located? Now, this is one of these questions where you do need to see the image. Are these steps in Rome, in Madrid, Paris, or Barcelona? It was in Italy. It was in Italy. 152 people guessed Italy. Well done. Why I included two Spanish uh, Spanish answers was because these are called the Spanish steps. The Spanish steps are located in Rome, interestingly, and were built in Rococo style between 1723 and 1726. Where is this location located? Very beautiful. When I saw this first, I was stunned. Everyone in top 10 did get a perfect score. This was a bit more tricky, though. It was a Schwedagon Pagoda, which is a Yangon's most famous landmark. The massive 99-meter-high gold-plated pagoda with a diamond-studded spire set on top of a small hill is visible from much of the city. Which of these Spanish provinces is not located in the north? Is it Lugo, Huesca, León, or Murcia? The region of Murcia is located in the southeast of the Iberian Peninsula, on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. All the other ones listed are located in the north. This is the next location. Very, very beautiful. Again, I tried to choose some very beautiful locations for this quiz. Well done! A lot of people did recognize it was in Curitiba. The Botanical Garden of Curitiba is a park located in the city of Curitiba, the capital of the state of Parana in Brazil. It was the most voted place in an online election to choose the Seven Wonders of Brazil. Which is the largest island of Canada by area? Is it Victoria Island, Baffin Island, Newfoundland, or Ellesmere Island? We have, oh, we have two very close votes. But the correct answer is Baffin Island. Baffin Island is the largest island in Canada and the fifth largest island in the world. More than 17,000 people, or 48% of Nunavut's population, lives here. Oh, this is the next location. Another pretty one. Another beautiful one. The Freedom Monument has been Riga's central landmark for almost a century. It is the symbol of Latvian nations striving for freedom and independence. 
The woman on top of the mountain is holding up three golden stars, which represent Latvia's historic regions. What is the longest river of the UK? Is it River Trent, River Severn, River Thames, or River Wye? People are very divided on this one. And River Severn wins. River Severn is the longest river in the UK located in England and Wales. It beats River Thames by only 8 kilometers or 5 miles. So very close in terms of the uh, length. This is an interesting one. A cute sheep statue. Cute street sheep statue somewhere in the world. Where is it? I wonder how many people will get a perfect score here. Well done, well done. Indeed, it was London. It was in London, city of London. Shaun the Sheep is a British stop-motion children's television series and a spin-off of the Wallace and Gromit franchise. And uh, that uh, statue was of the Shaun the Sheep. Which of the oceans is the smallest? Is it the Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Southern Ocean, or Indian Ocean? Ooh, Arctic and Indian Oceans were very close, but Arctic is indeed the smallest of the oceans. The Arctic Ocean, with a total area of about 14 to 15 million square kilometers, is the world's smallest ocean. It is about one and a half times as big as the United States. We have a big mountain, very interesting looking place, mountain with all, all of these stairs. And we were indeed in Colombia. It was the Rock of Guatape. It is a famous landmark in Colombia. Visitors can scale the rock via a staircase with 708 steps built into one side. What river runs through Baghdad? So is it Tigris, uh, Euphrates, sorry for my pronunciation, Amudaria or Indus? 50-50 for a couple of people. Yeah, I, I feel you. I know which ones. <laughs> the Tigris River has been a key source of irrigation power and travel that dates back to the earliest known civilizations. Surrounded by Iran, Iraq, Turkey and Syria, the Tigris River is the second largest river in Western Asia. So here is the next beautiful location. Where is this wonderful, beautiful location? The National Shrine Basilica of Our Lady of Las La Lajas is a basilica church located in southern Colombia. The present church was built in a Gothic style between 1916 and 1949, taking up a total time frame of 33 years to build. 33 years to build this amazing church. What is the only sea without any coasts? Is it Bering Sea, Lakadiv Sea, Sargasso Sea or Aratura Sea? The Sargasso Sea is completely surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean, contains no islands, and excludes the water around Bermuda, so it has no coastline. This one is less famous, more about uh, figuring, out, figuring out other clues that we see here. Some architecture, some language, we have a bunch of shoes hanging around, and we have a bunch of pillows as well, interestingly enough. Hanging shoes over the wire is an interesting tradition in Slovenia. The most famous wire is located in the close vicinity of Shoemaker's Bridge, which we saw here. So that was the most famous wire with shoes in Slovenia. What is the driest place on Earth? Sahara Desert, Arica, Bromo Sand Sea, or McMurdo Dry Valleys? Arica. No, not Africa. <laughs> not Africa. <laughs> Although the Atacama is the driest warm desert on Earth, the McMurdo Dry Valleys in Antarctica is the driest place on Earth. Nearby mountains are high enough that they block seaward flowing ice from reaching the valleys. The winds can reach speeds of 322 km per hour, heating as they descend and evaporating all water, ice and snow. This, is, uh, this, is, uh, this location is more for geoguesser enthusiasts. It, there's nothing famous or significant about it, just... Uh, Bunch of uh, GeoGuessr clues. Even if you haven't played GeoGuessr, I, I feel like there are a couple of clues like language and, and some other ones which might help. This was a typical location in Sri Lanka. You can get while playing GeoGuessr, language, driving on the left side, black and white striped signposts, and a colorful Google car are all good clues. Which of these cities is a capital city? Is it Istanbul, Sydney, Rio de Janeiro, or Ottawa? The overwhelming majority is uh, is going with Ottawa on this one. Indeed, it was Ottawa. Istanbul, Sydney, and Rio de Janeiro are not the capital cities of their corresponding countries. This is the next location. Another kind of geoguesser focused one. We have a Czech research station. The Czech Arctic Research Station is located in the central part of Svalbard. The station is used by Czech and foreign scientists and offers all the comfort and logistics facilities for research. Quiz time again! What is the oldest active volcano on Earth? Is it Mauna Loa, Mount Etna, 
Yellowstone Supervolcano or Yasur. And okay, 85 people got it. It was Mount Etna indeed. Mount Etna of Italy is thought to be the world's oldest active volcano. The first record of its eruption dates back to 1500 BC. Where is this wonderful spot located? I thought this was a very interesting one. Like a huge, huge wall. It was Uluru, the famous, famous mountain in Australia, Uluru, just from a different perspective, from very, very up close. Uluru has been a significant landmark to Aboriginal people since the beginning. The natural landmark is thought to have been formed by ancestral beings during the dreaming. What is the name of the landmark in the image? Is it Xiao Jai Tian Kang, Great Blue Hole, Nambi Nambi, or Devil's Sinkhole? The correct answer is indeed the Great Blue Hole. The Great Blue Hole is a giant marine sinkhole off the coast of Belize. The hole is circular in shape, 318 meters across and 124 meters deep. So that's a deep hole. Okay, so this is the next question. Uh, next location, where is this? Where is this lovely bridge located? And it is in Portugal. I imagine a lot of people probably did go with uh, San Francisco because San Francisco has a similar large bridge. 25th of April Bridge is a suspension bridge connecting the city of Lisbon, the capital of Portugal, to the municipality of Almada. It has a total length of 2,277 meters, making it the 43rd longest suspension bridge in the world. Which of these countries has the biggest population? Well, among all of these four. Ghana, Poland, Australia, or Peru? The correct answer is Poland. Most people thought Ghana or Peru. Poland has a population of around 38 million and is the fifth most populous member state of the European Union. We have a lovely, lovely place. Well, just the countryside somewhere. This is an interesting location. I will explain it in a second. This is a, unfortunately a misplaced photosphere. It, it was for cheaters. So if anyone had guessed it here, they would be instantly disqualified. But no one guessed here. Well done. Well done. I mean, I do need to check cheaters. The, unfortunately, GeoGuessr from their side, I don't think check for multiple accounts from the same device, so I had to think of something. So th th this round uh, was that. Whereas it actually, it, it wasn't, it is in Slovakia, actually. Which of the Northern American countries has the highest population density? Is it Barbados, Puerto Rico, Martinique, or Bermuda? A lot of people did see it, that only one of these is a country. Only one of these is a country. The most dense is Bermuda, but only Barbados is country, other ones are overseas territories and they are not independent. And also, this, this was also for, for, for Googlers. So if, if you Google specifically this question in Google, the first question that comes up is Bermuda. Where is this spot located? This is a very pretty one. Church of Halgrimur is a Lutheran church in Reykjavik, known for its distinctively curved spire and side wings. It has been described as having become an important symbol for Iceland's national identity since its completion in the 1980s. What is the largest continent by area? Is it Africa, Asia, Antarctica, or North America? Well done. Most people did recognize that Asia is the largest. Next, this is an interesting one. This is a very interesting one. So where was it? It was in France. In France. The Milau Viaduct is a multi-span cable-stayed bridge completed in 2004. It is the tallest bridge in the world, having a structural height of 336 meters. On which major African river will you find the Victoria Falls? Congo River, Nile, Zambezi or Kasai? The beautiful Victoria Falls waterfall is located about midway along the course of the Zambezi River, at the border between Zambia to the north and Zimbabwe to the south. For, for GeoGuessr players, probably many have seen it before. Even if you're not a GeoGuessr player, you might have seen it as well. The Avenue of the Baobabs is a prominent group of Grandidier's Baobabs lining a dirt road in Madagascar. It has been a center of local conservation efforts and has been granted temporary protected status. What is the narrow body of water between New Zealand's North and South Islands? Is it Cook Strait, Forvo Strait, Bass Strait or Torres Strait? Cook Strait separates the North and South Islands of New Zealand. It is 22 kilometers wide at the narrowest point and is considered one of the most dangerous and unpredictable waters in the world. What is this location? Very beautiful one, uh, with a rainbow and everything. 
wet rocks and the waterfall. Victoria Falls again. We just had a question about Victoria Falls and now we, we checked if you can pinpoint it. And a lot of people could find it. Well done. Victoria Falls is one of the world's largest waterfalls with a width of 1,708 meters. Huge one. Which of these countries does not have e equator passing through? Is it Gabon, Indonesia, Republic of the Congo, or Venezuela? The equator passes through 13 countries. Ecuador, Colombia, Brazil, Sao Tome and Principe, Gabon, Republic of the Congo, Democ the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Uganda, Kenya, Somalia, Maldives, Indonesia, and Kiribati. Here we go. This is a beautiful one. I remember having this once in GeoGuessr and I 5K'd it. <laughs> During the past thousand years, whoever gained control of Fort Sant'Angelo could effectively rule the Maltese Islands. Strategically located on a hillock at the end of the Bergu Peninsula, the fort dominates the Grand Harbor. How many UNESCO heritage sites are there in the world? 1,031, 1,121, 1,154 or 1,269. UNESCO protects the world's most important sites. As of July 2021, there are a total of 1,154 World Heritage Sites located in 167 countries. This is a beautiful one. Some, some large buildings in the distance. A bunch of tourists nearby. Where is this beautiful place? It was a Gyeongbok. Kung Palace, sorry for mis mispronouncing it, located north of Gwanghwamun Square. It is one of the most iconic sites in all of Korea thanks to its long and storied history. Construction of the palace was completed in 1395 at the beginning of the Joseon Dynasty. Which country's national anthem contains the verse, On its summits may the Andes sustain the two-color flag or standard? A couple of couple of these countries have Andes, but but only one of these countries have color uh, flag in two colors, red and white, which is Peru. National anthem of Peru was composed by Jose Ber Bernardo Alcedo, and its lyrics were written by Jose de la Torre Ugarte in 1821. What is this spot? Oh, this is this spot with a bunch of Easter eggs. Bunch of Easter eggs around. There is another big Easter egg here. Big Easter egg and then small Easter eggs. Pisanka Museum is a museum dedicated to Ukrainian Easter eggs called Pisanka. At this time, the museum possesses a collection of over 10,000 Pisanki. What is the name of the point below Earth's surface where the earthquake starts? Is it epicenter, hypocenter, focus point or fault plane? The hypocenter is the point within the Earth where an earthquake rupture starts. The epicenter is the point directly above it at the surface of the Earth. So epicenter is above the Earth's surface, hypocenter is below the Earth's surf surface. Find the spot. I thought this was a very beautiful one when I found it. Very beautiful. These huge, huge trees all around. Some large buildings as well visible. Rising up to 50 meters above ground, these iconic super trees are at the heart of Singapore, provide shade in the day, and come alive with an exhilarating light and musical show at night. Which country is the world's largest producer of uranium? Is it Australia, Russia, Canada, or Kazakhstan? In 2020, Kazakhstan produced the largest share of uranium from mines, which was 41% of world supply, followed by Australia and Canada. Where are these huge faces located? Very famous ones, I believe. But where are they? How many people can find them on the map? I think it's easy to easy to, to recognize, but it might be very difficult to find it. Easter Island is an island and special territory of Chile in the southeastern Pacific Ocean. The island is most famous for its nearly 1,000 extant monumental statues called Moai. It's, it's quite difficult to find because it's such a small island and very far from Chile as well. Ang Tong, Koch Kong, and Luang Prabang are administrative divisions of which countries? Cambodia, China, and Vietnam, China, Laos, and Thailand, Cambodia, Myanmar, and Thailand, or Cambodia, Laos, and Thailand. Very nicely done. So 142 people got it right, and it was indeed Cambodia, Laos, and Thailand. Here is the next, uh, next uh, location. Very beautiful one, I thought, as well. Like some, some huge alleyway with like a lot of trees and greenery. And this huge, 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 I don't know, 
castle palace. It was a Borobudur. It is a, the 9th century Mahayana Buddhist temple in central Java, Indonesia. The temple consists of nine stacked platforms topped by a central dome. It is decorated with 2,672 relief panels and 504 Buddha statues. Which of these cities is located the most north? Uh, London, UK, Edmonton, Canada, Copenhagen, Denmark, or Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia? And it was Copenhagen, Denmark. Copenhagen, Denmark was the most north, interestingly enough. Copenhagen is 55.6761 degrees north. All the other cities are more southern. Whew. And let's finish the game. Who has won? Tawareth in the first place, Whisper in second, Husky in third. Well done. Great job. Denny in fourth place, Snorlax in fifth, Geo Charlie in sixth, Geo Nova in seventh, Enterbury in eighth place, Mada in ninth, Giovanni in tenth. Well done. Well done. And here are all the other in 25. Don't forget to press that like button and let me know in the comments how many questions did you get it right. Huge thanks to all of the patrons and YouTube members for supporting this channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to one another and see you in the next video.